Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Maddie. I'm Louise. And I'm Ari. And today we'll be discussing about a topic. Which language do you guys speak actually? Vietnamese, English, and Cantonese. Maybe a little Japanese? I speak Greek, I speak German, I speak English, and I speak a little Japanese. Mm. French, English, and Japanese. Mm. Okay, so you guys speak multiple languages, mm -hmm. right? Is your personality changes? Like, mm. Huh, good question, actually. Mm. I would say that French and English are pretty similar. Mm. And they are close enough that the way I speak didn't have to change much. So the way I act was also pretty similar. But when I speak English, it's easier to be casual with everyone. Mm. In French, we still have different way to address, like politely or just mm -hmm. casually. Mm -hmm. So in English, I feel very free. It's easier to make friends in a way, in mm -hmm. English, for me. Mm -hmm. Japanese, however, like when I first started to learn, because it's so different, mm -hmm. I felt like I could not be the same. Mm. And by that I mean, I cannot be as casual as straightforward. So mm -hmm. I felt like I needed this time to adapt. Mm -hmm. And now when I speak Japanese, I feel like my voice changed a little bit. Mm. And- Higher? A little higher. <laughs> I didn't know, but- For some reason then. Nah, I think it's the way to speak. Yeah, well, God, I mean, I speak Japanese and English, but when I speak Japanese, definitely my voice goes nah. higher. Zetai so. I tend to be softer with my words, I think, mm -hmm. but it actually started to influence my personality in other languages. So, mm. What about you? fellow European. Mm. <laughs> um, every language has like a different level of communication. Like English mm -hmm. is very, very straightforward. Um, German has also polite forms, almost like Kego. Mm. And Greek is also extremely casual. Oh. Um, so when I speak Japanese, I always sound like the way I don't want to sound like. The way I express myself is a little bit like weaker. You're cute, mm. right? Yeah, more I always like, say that he's Japanese cute. Cuter, right? maybe, which is not the way at all I want to As come well, across. No. You know what not I mean? Cute? No, I don't, I don't want to be cute. <laughs> In Janai? Um, the way that you act changes. Yeah, you know? But I felt exactly the same when I learned Japanese. Like, why? I don't want to be that cute. I want to be cool. I want to sound mm. confident. Yeah. It's still difficult to yeah, find yeah, yeah. it, I think. Yeah, I still haven't figured out how exactly mm. to do that. Um, I feel like, because I grew up speaking like three languages, right? Like as a, from a very young age. Oh, well. So, no, 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 <laughs> no. Relate. No, it, it's just really? that. Really? <laughs> because like I used them simultaneously mm -hmm. as I was growing up yeah. so I feel like my personality for Vietnamese, Cantonese and English is mm -hmm. almost the same mm -hmm. but I kind of agree with the tone uh -huh. thing when I started learning Japanese and like my first exposure to the language was mm -hmm. through anime mm -hmm. and like oh. you know the anime voice like it's Cute really voice. high pitched mm -hmm. and because it was the first time that I listened to Japanese that's what I thought Japanese was supposed to be mm -hmm. at some point naturally when I try to speak Japanese my tone just change it goes up mm -mm -mm. like I know <laughs> but in English it would just be like excuse me mm -mm -mm. In, in Vietnamese it's more like a straightforward uh -huh. kind of language like we like to be direct mm. so when I speak Vietnamese my tone is the lowest oh, out of all the languages <laughs> so hi hi xin chào xin chào eh, it's yeah. not that low though yeah. yeah but we don't say that in Vietnamese Asoka. when we say hi to our friends we yeah. don't really say hi. hello what xin do you say hey 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 it's like in Japanese you say oi. like oi, oi like that so it's lower basically mm. but in Japanese it's higher so it kind of influence my personality as well because you know when your voice go high mm. I act more gentle and mm. like humble and like cute mm. I guess I don't know yeah when you speak Japanese Mari you look really cute yeah mm. more Shakupa. <laughs> Shakupa cute then. He's like my 70% cute. I'm trying to be. <laughs> trying to be cute. I'm trying, like, I'm trying like, 100. I'm aiming for 100. Yeah. yeah. I Louis try. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, mm -hmm. your personality doesn't change. It's more mm -hmm. of like because every language has their personality mm -hmm. or the way of mm -hmm. speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you're trying to fit 
mm. to the language, right?、Mm. So I would say like it's really important to fit into the language、mm. personality. Yeah,、mm. yeah.、Mm. Okay. I think it makes you sound more fluent、oh, when、right. you understand this personality and fit in it.、Mm. And then the challenge, as we say, is like how to still be yourself in that language personality. Do you guys have any tips to do so? To do which one? Like to like to fit into the language、uh, personality.、Uh, Show your people. personality. Copy people.、Mm-hmm. Like find a person you really、mm-hmm. think it's cool, or like you you really want to sound like them, and then you you try to imitate.、Mm-hmm. Like the way that you learn languages, like、yeah. you you hear your parents speak, and then you kind of imitate your parents in some in some ways.、Mm-hmm. So wh- whenever you want to try to start a new language,、mm-hmm. try to imitate the people that you think are the、mm-hmm. coolest. I think automatically sound a little bit like them. Yeah, yeah, yeah.、Mm-hmm. Did you have、so. someone in Japanese? Yeah, and that's why I, th- I think I sound quite female when I speak. Like it was my landlord in Japan. <laughs> 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 Group of like neighborhood mamas, like Mama Tomo to kind. Mama Tomo Nihongo kai. So, 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 What people say now. What I realized too, going to Semongako here, is I was surrounded by twenty something,、mm. and they use like the new Japanese, right? But so many things I have no idea at first. Is like what is PN or like it's already old dakedo.、Eh? Mm. Like it, there are so many like of those slang. Mm. But if you want to actually communicate with those younger people, you need to understand them to、mm. chat, just imitate, or at least listen a lot to it because、mm-hmm. your brain will remember. I agree with that.、Mm. Like getting exposed to like many different media. Like I watch a lot of anime when I was younger.、Mm. But I think most importantly, I learn from people around me. I'm not gonna lie. Like I listen to Natsu's and Ari's Japanese a lot. <laughs> And I think I kind of get influenced、mm. by it, the way they talk. We're all influenced by Natsu. Let's、yeah. be honest, guys. She's like, our Natsu <laughs> is the role model here. Like. She's, she's like our Japanese teacher, yeah, basically. basically. Louis Japanese too. Also, like I have a bunch of Japanese friends, and of course, their personality is different too, right? Yeah, yeah. I just listen to everyone、mm. around me, and that's how I absorb the language, basically. Yeah.、Mm. Hi. So. <laughs> Um, thank you very much for watching. As always, guys,、mm. uh, let us know in the comments how many languages do you speak.、Oh, ne. Does your personality change whenever you speak them?、Mm. Uh, let's start a conversation.、Mm. Uh, like the video if you want to see more. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell button and see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye. When I speak Vietnamese, my tone is the lowest、oh, out of all the languages.、Sure. Well, Say hi. I love you, Luis. <laughs> Chigaoka, Yenaika. Say hi, hi. Xin Jiao. Xin Jiao. Eh, it's、yeah. not that low though. Yeah, yeah but we don't say that in Vietnam. Asoka. <laughs>